Part number five, create procurement tracking log. The procurement tracking log is very important document to monitor the project progress and to ensure that the, the, this project will be completed on time. One reason of the common uh, uh, delays caused to any project is because of the materials not arrived to the site on time. So let's go and see how to prepare this procurement tracking log. This is our materials in Primavera schedule. We have material submittal, material approval, and so on. So just material submittal, I right click copy. And here is a procurement tracking chart. You can download it from the lesson. I'll put and paste it here. This is the submittal. Now I can find that there is too many columns I don't want. So I don't need the total float. Let's go to the Primavera. And from columns, let's remove the total float. And we remove the budget cost. And then apply. Okay. Then we'll copy it again. Just remove this one. We will copy it again. Copy. Paste. Okay, this is material submittals. And we have here the start date and finish date. Now I'm going to copy the material approvals. Okay, copy. But I'll put it beside it. And I'll tell you why. Then material procurement. Put it beside it. Then material delivery to the site. We can put it here as well. Okay. Let's move remove the spaces. So just I click this corner, then control F. I replace two spaces with a with replace with then don't type anything here. And then replace all. Close. Okay, now let's go to our sheet. Here. We have here the first heading is seven materials. Okay, seven and, and architectural materials. Okay. We will call it seven materials only, as were our WBS. Then we have no need for this one. Actually, it is depend on your WBS. Okay, so from here now, I will start. by the activity ID, description, the description, then the material submittal date equal to, this is the material submittal date, what we said, we agree that always we are going to choose the, the completion date. When you complete your work, it will be the start point for the material submittal date. So this is required, so this is forecast. Material approval date, again here, we'll go to the approval. Finish date in the approval.
Now the PO, what is the PO? The PO is the purchase order. In order to uh, 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 ask the supplier or the manufacturer to give you or to start preparing your material, you should issue a purchase order. You are telling the supplier or the manufacturer uh, you are going to buy these goods by this price. It depends on what is your agreement, if it is uh, advanced payment or so on. But usually this is very important information for us because the supplier or the manufacturer will not start your process unless you have a PO. So without purchase order, nothing will happen for the manufacturer and for the procurement. Usually the PO issue date is after just after the approval date. So let's make it a formula after the approval date by let's say five days. Okay. Then manufacturer start. This is a procurement and manufacturer period we allowed for in our schedule. Then So this is the date of the start manufacturer here. So start manufacturer equal to this one is the start date and ending manufacturer is the shipping date. So here finish date of manufacturer. And then the clearance let's say take it backward deliver delivery to the site we're going to take the delivery to the site from the very end this one deliver to the site then the clearance let's say one week or depend on your data or your uh, country conditions Actually, a lot of this information, the procurement department will help you to find it. But the, something like delivery period, you can easily figure out what is the delivery period. And you need here to the, give it to the procurement department in order to add supplier name and so on. So just I'll delete the first cell because it's sample. And we will drag because we fixed the formula already we will drag up to here and then we can format painter doing the same this is Copy one, two, three. Okay. Just remove all the formula from the heading. Then this is a finishes material. Can copy and put it here one two three then remove the formula from here as well and we have here our procurement tracking chart ready to give it to our procurement department in order to start uh, adding or omitting the materials and uh, checking this delivery period after they do their check you should go again to the Primavera and edit all whatever they fix so now i need you to complete this material procurement tracking chart first do it in primavera to get the dates and everything then complete the excel sheet and send it to my email you will find my email related to this course below uh, just send it drop me an email and let's chat about what we learned so far on the on the course Thank you very much and see you in the next lesson.